So the story continues with the failed drug test from Yannick Sinner from back in March, April of this year. We've had the players' response. We've had the statement come out of uh, to what this situation has been, which has been hidden for so long. Now his coach has come out on ESPN to talk about it from his point of view and also from the inner sanctum of the Sinner camp. Let's go have a listen to what he had to say. This is what Darren Cahill had to say in the ESPN interview. We've been living with this for a few months now, knowing how serious of an issue it is. And back in March in Indian Wells, Giacomo Naldi, who is the physiotherapist of Yannick, put his hand into his medical bag and cut his finger with a scalpel on the pinky finger. It was quite a big cut. I didn't see it. The other person that was in the room at the time was Umberto Ferreira, and he is the physical trainer of Yannick, and Yannick also didn't see it. I walked into the room and saw that he was putting a white bandage on his finger, looked and asked what happened. He said he cut his finger. I said, is there anything we need to do? And he said, no, all good, no problem. After that, Yannick actually saw J-Mo that night, saw the first time that he'd cut his finger and asked him if he had used any ointment or creams or anything to put on his finger to help the healing. He said no, which was the truth at the time. Umberto had a spray, which is quite common in Italy. I'd never heard about it before. I never saw the spray and he offered it to J-Mo to help with the healing. He had it for personal reasons, I believe. Unbeknown to any of us, with the treatments that he was giving to Yannick, somehow it passed from Joe's finger through to Yannick and he tested positive. That's pretty much the summary. That he had no part in this at all and he didn't elect to ingest anything. He didn't take any tablets. He didn't intend to cheat. Somehow he's tested positive though. This connection with this particular spray from Joe through to Yannick. We don't know how working on the feet, a massage, whatever it may be. He's given two positive tests. Yannick got a notification after the Miami tournament that he won. He returned a positive test from Indian Wells and straight away they worked it back to knowing it must have come from this particular spray. Which a physical trainer had used on him. What happens from there is you go to sports resolution because they give a suspension straight away. So to get that suspension lifted, Yan's team had to go to sports resolution and have emergency meeting. And the story was told exactly how it happened. The Yannick played no part. He's incredibly professional, that he supports the anti-doping, that he does everything around his team to make sure that something like this should not happen. And they accepted how it happened so that it was no fault from him. So they allowed him to continue to play. And the ITA would do their due diligence and make sure that it was all credible so he was provisionally suspended, but because of the emergency hearing, that was quickly lifted before it could interfere with any of his further tournaments. He would have seen a big change in his physicality and excitement to be on court. It wore him down physically and mentally. He got tonsillitis and missed the Olympics. We're not looking for any sorrow, just thankful there is no ban attached. So there it is, Darren Cahill, the coach of Yannick Sinner, coming out in defense of his player. No surprise there that he's coming in defense of the player. Very strange situation this is. It's, it's very strange. A lot of questions being asked, not only by the players, but also by you guys in the comments section. Let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think it should have been addressed when it happened back in April or March? You know, should it have been brought up then? Timing is weird. You know, Cincinnati, he just wins Cincinnati. Back on track, Sinner, before the US Open, and this story breaks. And the uh, all the statesmen's coming out, everything's coming out. It's a weird situation. Obviously, there's a big, big comparison between this and Halep. And Darren Cahill being the factor, I don't know if he, I don't think he's responsible for this, but it's just a very awkward coincidence that him and he's involved with both players or has been involved in both players. He wasn't the coach of Hella back when she got uh, in, in trouble a couple of years ago. He's just been in the wrong place at the wrong time, I reckon. But there it is, Darren Cahill coming out in defense of Yannick Sinner.